This is my Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Hyundai make a big claim about it charging in just 18 minutes from 10% to 80%. Now I tried this in winter and it didn't work. It didn't get that quick. But it's a beautiful day. It's kind of an English summer, about as summery as we get in England. So I'm gonna try it now. At the moment it's at 17% battery. And to get to Ionity, which is the nearest fast charger, um, it, I should get down to 10%. So hopefully this test will work perfectly. Okay, so there we go, 17%. And I've enabled geek mode by putting in the little OBD dongle there. So enabling geek mode means that we can find out exactly what temperature the battery is. So it's 22 degrees, apparently, according to the car, and it feels it in the sun, it's very hot. The, the battery temperature is what we have to look at, and the battery temperature, the minimum battery temperature, is 19 degrees. Apparently 30 degrees is kind of optimum temperature of the battery, so, um, but it should get up to that once we plug in, I think. So I'm hoping once we plug in, the battery will start creeping up uh, in temperature and then it will unlock the speedy charge. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Okay, right. Let's get to Ionity. Ionity. I think it's Hive, I think it should appear as. Mm, no. Well, let's try that, actually. I know it's not appearing, but let's try it anyway. Yeah, there we go. Set its destination. Uh, what does that even mean? Okay. All good, straight down there. Okay, well, amazingly, I got here with 10%. I would have got here um, with a bit more, actually. Um, I would have got here with about 13%, so I had to go around the... Um, to go on the motorway and then round around about and then back. So, so I'd get here uh, with 10. So anyway, we've got 24 miles on the GOM. Um, not that that really matters. So let's see what... Um, oh, the, by the way, this is the first time I've got the battery so low in this car. I've um, never seen that before. So um, let's see what happens then. Okay, battery temperature is at 21 degrees. By the way, I've got air conditioning turned off because that can affect the speed. So I'm just going to keep the windows open because it's hot in the car, very hot. Um, okay, right, I'm going to film what speed we get. Okay, I'm going to use my Hyundai card. There. Okay, so, if you're new to this, obviously that's your state of charge, your battery. That's how much energy is being put in the battery. And that's the charging speed. This bit, on an Ionic 5, should go all the way up to 220. And I think it probably will. And then if we get inside the car, it'll tell us how long it'll take to get to 80%. We'll look at the car scanner in a second to see what the battery temperature is at. So I missed it, but yep, there we go. 17 minutes to 80%. So it's going to start at 182-ish, and then I think it will, in a minute, that will go up to about 220. So at about 25% you get a point where it goes up a bit to, yeah, 200 and something kilowatts. And if we're lucky that might even go up to 220. Either way, it's pretty amazing, really, how quick this is. There we go, 215, it's creeping up. Okay, we've got one minute to go. 30 seconds. Can it do it?
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, is it going to do it? 18 minutes. There we go. There it is. There it is. It did it. So, Hyundai's claim has been verified. 18 minutes and a few seconds to get to 80%. That is pretty amazing. It charges so fast, but it's worth saying that it charges fast on a good day. In winter, it's not quite the same story, is it? I charged here back in winter. Um, there's a link to the video in the description. Um, and uh, that was not as fast as this. It's still very quick, but not as fast as this. But that's pretty amazing. So there you have it, 80% in 18 minutes. What an amazing car this is. So there we go. Um, Hyundai's claim has been verified. My work here is done. So it'd be nice if it did 18 minutes to 80% all the time, of course, but it doesn't um, because it is dependent on the weather or dependent on the heat of the battery, really. So in summer, you're more likely to get it. Um, but, and I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again because it's worth mentioning. Um, all 2023 model year Ionic 5s are going to have a battery heater. And if you've got a battery heater, it means that you'll be able to precondition with a software update, you'll be able to precondition your Ionic 5's battery. So when you go to a charger, when you go to a rapid charger, it'll be nice and warm, hopefully to unlock that 18 minutes or at least quicker charge speeds. But it does mean that if you didn't get an eco pack, um, you're probably never going to get those really, really fast charging speeds in winter or even autumn, perhaps. But it all, it all depends on the heat of the battery, really. If it's a nice warm day, then you might get it. And if you get the battery low enough, then it does charge fast. But it's just worth bearing in mind that um, this claim of 18 minutes that Hyundai say, they really need to add an asterisk, and they need to say, in good weather, because that's what it's dependent on, really, at the moment. Well, if you've got any questions, then let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please press the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of other videos. All right, bye for now.